What are you doing? Uh, I'm Shovel Knight. Duh. Were well, you gonna stop anytime soon? Nope. What are you doing? I'm Shield Knight. And I'm Plague Knight! What? Hey there, thanks for popping in. It's always great to have unexpected visitors. Today we're going to have a look at Shovel Knight, deciding whether or not it deserves to be slaughtered or salvaged. What the fuck are you doing? What? Can you not go 10 seconds without ripping off another YouTuber? Well, I'm just... You cut it out right now, or I'm going to come over there and hit you with this stick. Okay, okay, whoa, man! Jeez. Or I mean I would if I wasn't you already. Kyo. So, Shovel Knight, I actually never got around to playing it when it was first released. Left and right, reviewers were praising this game like it was a gift from the holy heavens, commanding us to bathe in the warmth of its glorious retro buttocks. But there was one man, one man who didn't give in to the hype. That was me, because I didn't have the money. I mean, I still don't have any money, but at least now I have Shovel Knight. I wish I had a physical copy, but I don't. On Steam. Shovel Knight is a 2D retro-style platformer created by Yacht Club Games. Story-wise, it's fairly straightforward. Shield Knight, Shovel Knight's adventuring partner, has been sealed inside a tower after a recent adventure went wrong. One day, the tower is unsealed from within thanks to the evil Enchantress. Shovel Knight heads towards the tower in the hopes of rescuing Shield Knight, her fate unknown. And then BAM! Right into the first level! Now the first thing to take note of is Shovel Knight's choice of weapon. I bet you can't guess what it is! Shovel Knight can use the shovel to uncover buried treasure and kill enemies. Or he would if I wasn't so shit. First enemy. That's essentially his whole move list, although he can buy upgrades for his shovel and armor later on in the game. Like the charge handle, which allows him to charge up his attack for a high damage slash. The drop spark, which gives him a Master Sword-esque full health projectile. And my favorite upgrade, the gold armor, which does absolutely nothing but lets you do cool flips. Woo! Now I've had this game for a while, and to be honest, I haven't had the patience to get anywhere past Plague Knight's castle. But for the sake of this review, I will try to get as far as I can, but I don't know whether I'll have enough time, so I might not finish the game. 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 Now right away I noticed some similarities to other classic retro games. We've already talked about the Zelda-esque projectile, but there's also the shovel jump, which is sort of similar to the DuckTales jump. Speaking of, is that a cane or a pogo stick? I can never tell. The game also just screams Mega Man to me. I mean you've got the eight knights, which are the eight robot masters, Proto Man, which is Black Knight, and the Enchantress, who's Dr. Wily. A sexy Dr. Wily, but a Wily nonetheless. Shovel Knight's levels are filled to the brim with secrets and treasure. Occasionally you'll stumble across a chest where you can buy that level's relic. These can vary from an item which gives you a couple seconds of invincibility, a fireball, a green ball, arcing anchors, or even a big ol' horn. The list just goes on. One thing Shovel Knight does differently to earlier retro platformers is get rid of the live system. No longer will you be seeing this screen. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, not that screen. Instead, when you die, a portion of your money gets thrown out and hovers there, and you've got to get it back without dying or else it's lost forever, Dark Souls style. This is for the best, really, because if I had to restart any of these levels from the beginning, I'd probably still be playing. Once you finish a level, Shovel Knight calls it a day and settles down for the night. Throughout your adventure, you'll find multiple NPCs that'll help you on your way. There's the Gastronomer, who'll upgrade your maximum health, the Magicist, who'll increase your magic meter, the Armorer, oh gee, I wonder what he does, the Shovelsmith, who'll upgrade your shovel, and the Trapple King, who'll fill your chalices with a magical eye core. Now here's where things get interesting. When you talk to this giant apple fish for the first time, you're forced to watch a small dance number, a cutscene if you will. Now, did you know that you can actually move during this cutscene? Look closely now. Look at me! I'm dancing! You can do this in every dance number. Yes, all two of them. Board, bam, not anymore with this new leg bending technology. Now dance again, I command it. Here's the overworld map. It's nice, isn't it? Occasionally you'll find these little challenge squares in which you can use a newly acquired relic to traverse through. Hmm, I need the phase logger, huh? Well, I've got it. Time to go get some treasure. I don't see those ones. Now whilst the game is looking mighty fine right now, there are a couple of things which aren't so great. 
I used that line last time, didn't I? I gotta get some new material. G fucking right to do! <laughs> Firstly, spikes kill you in one hit. It doesn't matter from what angle, you will always die when you hit them. Unless you have the phase locket, of course, in which case you can touch them for about two seconds. It's okay most of the time when they serve as death pits or such, but when they're just peppered on the ceiling in a water level, a place where your jumping strength is already super powerful, you know, because of the water, it gets a little bit annoying, especially if just the tip of your sculpt just brushed against them. Another thing is the darkness. This game just loves taking vision away from the player. I'm all for a challenge, but I think making it so I have to guess where I'm jumping is starting to edge away from Donkey Kong Country and more towards Cat Mario. Ghosts in both games? Coincidence? Or maybe something more? And is it just me or does a part of the Explodatorium's theme sound awfully familiar? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Occasionally you'll also run into these wandering travelers. They're never too hard, but you don't want to be out of eye core when you fight them. It's best to finish them off as quickly as possible. Oh. Oh. Oh crap, that was a close one. Oh, uh, um, I'll use, uh, GO BALL! Ah, oh, you stupid thing, I always knew you were useless. Oh, hell, the quadruple hit ball! You know, I just noticed that Black Knight loves. Stop that! That Black Knight. He he, he loves like like knuckles and Sonic and, and Sonic Three. Can you not, please? So you've made it to one of the final lit. <clears throat> so you've made it to one of the final levels, and everything is going dandy. But then you encounter it. This isn't very spooky, is it? But then you encounter it. The dreaded crushing crushes! Oh boy, gee fucking whiz. Put me on a rocket of sand and call me Sally. Why does this level exist? Gee whiz, this level is so bad. Getting hit was one of my top strategies to get past this one part. Getting hit. In a game where you're not supposed to get hit. Careful now. You don't want to mess with an internet classic. You might end up somewhere you don't want to be. Cure. Oh, shut up. I'm sure that everyone agrees that the level can go suck my nuts. Radical Suda, you are hereby charged with defiling fan favorite game Shovel Knight with your disgusting, tasteless words. How do you plead? Guilty, but it was only. I sentence you to life imprisonment! Alright, watch out. There's gonna be some in game spoilers here, so if you don't wanna see them, skip to this time. Woo, look at that! I can't put an annotation there because YouTube doesn't, like, let you put in cards and. Also, annotations of the same video for some reason, so you're just gonna have to manually find it yourself. I guess if you accidentally scrub over something and you see by accident, that's your fault. That's on you, that's not on me. <laughs> well, that's on YouTube. Whew, that's on three people. So, right before you enter the final level, Black Knight. Stop it! I, I, what? This isn't even the right song! Challenges you one final time, this time powered up by the Enchantress. You beat him and continue on to the final level, which has a really freaky gimmick. Feels like I could fall off any second. And after that, you finally face up to the evil Enchantress, and after a nerve-wracking battle, she finally... turns into Shield Knight? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I guess this from the moment I started the game, but that doesn't make it any more moving when Shovel Knight swoops in to catch her at last. Oh yeah, there's also a couple of levels where you've got to catch her in the dream sequence or whatever, it makes it seem more tear-jerking, yeah, 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 whatever. With the evil amulet shattered, which is what turns Shield Knight into the Enchantress, the magic within it is released to create one final last boss fight, with Shield Knight by your side. Unfortunately, Shovel Knight is caught off guard after the fight, probably because of the prospect of getting some sweet shield booty, and falls, while Shield Knight fights to hold off. Uh, did they actually give this thing a name? Uh, well it says here it's the Remnant of Fate. Uh, Alright. Shield Knight holds off the Remnant of Fate's attack and tells Black Knight to escape and take Shovel Knight to safety. Her fate is unknown as the castle swallows her and the Remnant of Fate back up again. Black Knight Prop Shovel Knight up on a log and heads off, leading into the credits. I'm not gonna lie, I did tear up a little bit at this point. Hey, but at least we get to see what happens to all the knights that we fought along the way. Yeah.
Oh my god! Ah! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, that's... Oh, that's... oh, geez, you really had the waterworks running. Nope. Just Team Chaotix. Are you guys bloody done? I need to film my own show! Wait, what's your show? Current quackies. So, wow, we actually did it! We finished the game! Turns out we're not quite done yet, though, as there seems to be a whole other campaign you can play as Plague Knight. Well, I'm gonna have to be honest, I don't have the time for that. I think we got plenty far, though. I mean, we almost got all the relics, and we did finish the game, technically. So, with that all being said, thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video... Oh my god! Badger Rat. Not everyone needs to complete games, you know. Are you guys fucking finished? Oh!